Welcome guys, welcome to stream number 6 of my from zero to hero uh, sentinel dot build hammer troll dot build journey. I'm uh, currently level 94 and today we're gonna push to level 100. I mean, not specifically today, but we're gonna be in the process of uh, achieving level 100. Now, I have some couple of upgrades. As, as we can see, we have a brand new ring that decreasing the mana mana cost from the throwing abilities with a little bit of a throwing attack speed resistances and hp we pretty nice ring um we have a gloves new gloves with uh, elemental resistances uh, damage over time and attack speed i craft those two items i still didn't find better helmet than this one which is kind of funny um so uh, at some point i need to find out because this doesn't do much i mean it does a lot but we it's it can do way more as you can see, those are tier 1 set. I mean, tier 1 uh, bonuses. It's kind of ridiculous. I increase a little bit the void resistances on this one with the chance to uh, frailty on hit. I think that's about it. Um, there is something that's very important happened to the build, by the way. Something super, super, super important. That's something that's changing the build completely. That's why I need to find this ring to decrease the mana cost. And now let me show you. We are including in Shield Breaker. Why? Ignite and bleed damage scales if you decrease the resistances of the enemy. What does that mean? As we can see, we have physical and armor, right? It's very important to decrease the physical capability of enemies to, uh, to re resist damage. The, the less physical percentage, uh, physical resistance the enemy have, the more bleeding damage it's gonna take. The same is with the fire damage. So how we, we can achieve that, it's with this particular one notable only needed to, to a stack one time shred, a physical shred and one time fire shred. And because we are attacking very fast, we can simply pretty easily uh, put them to max stacks or whatever, whatever the max is. Pretty nice. Um, I need a little more mana regeneration, which a uh, couple of points will co co uh, come over here. Then, uh, as we can see, I've been changing a little bit. I still need resistances, didn't find something that can cap them. So, seven points from this one will be taken out uh, at, at some point. I'm almost uh, completed uh, Reverence of Duality. And now we are using, of course... Uh, something very interesting setup vengeance with uh, with um, with combination uh, healing hands why vengeance exactly well once our mana run out we can always use vengeance to take some mana back this is from those talents over here t uh, time and fate so what's happening is that um, whatever I want to heal myself more than uh, than the damage over time the leech from hammer throw hits and damage over time right i will use uh, vengeance which also decrease the damage that i'm gonna take with with those uh, with this one right and the passives from vengeance it says um after i cast vengeance uh, the, uh, in the next two seconds, uh, my attacks will repose, repose taking 25 less damage uh, to an enemy. I think this is only for physical, I mean for attack, for something that tries to hit me. Uh, but this is actually permanent, not permanent, but two seconds debuff on all the damages that comes to me, like 25% less damage and increased armor, which is uh, super nice. So what's going to happen is that I'm going to be low HP, I'm going to start to uh, use Vengeance, which is going to heal me because... I make sure that I can proc um, healing hand that have no no pretty much mana cost and I'm gonna have damage uh, healing over time effect and heal myself pretty nicely if things go spicy I can always go rebuke and that's about it so this is the kind of a, the, the changes now I'm farming the the age of winter at that particular moment
So, this is not something that um, is not obvious, but I always like look down on the um, experience tomes, but they give me actually a lot. So, every single one of them, after completing a dungeon, tomes give me almost every single time 10% experience guiding. So, 10 dungeons of those, and you got a level, which is pretty nice. The survivability of the character actually increased a lot. I mean, we, it's still just 100 corruption, but... I don't know. It feels, it, it feels pretty nice. Not like before. I have uh, lots of keys and money. There is one of the dungeons that at uh, the end you can try to gather more rewards by spending money. I think after... Maybe one level I'm gonna try that. That was, uh, that's kind of close. Fuck. All right. <sighs> Fuck. Elemental damage over time is nice, but we need damage over time. And it's bricked. Oh, by the way guys, today I make 900, almost 1k stacks of bleed. I ac actually have a photo. So, um, that was the photo. 937 stacks. And, um, yeah. <laughs> I don't remember how much damage I was doing, but I, would, I, was, I think it was 20k per tick. But this is with combination of... Um, uh, with ignite, so good stacks though, and and this is not like final amount of bleed chance that I can have. So yeah, kind of pretty pretty cool. Is 
The mages are still a little bit scary, but um, as you can see, they're going down pretty comfortably. If anybody's that with just one time vengeance on on pack and most most of the small mobs dying like i don't need to cast uh, hammer throw which is nice Not sure about those uh, attacks, but uh, here we go. That was the the mini boss. Nice. Get wrecked it. Stand down or die. Here we go. Good stacks, there you go. Physical and cold resistance per point of dexterity, cold damage to attacks and spell per point of dexterity. Strange sheet item. Increased leech rate. Ooh, wait a second. Is that prefix or what 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 that exactly is? Oh my god, it's suffix. So gloves can have all elemental resistances, damage over time, increased throwing attack speed, and increased leech rate. Now that's good. That's super good. I didn't know that. By the way, those I, I found those this unique item. Let's void damage taken. And every 5 seconds I'm gathering some kind of a void barrier that reduce my damage taken by 5%. But uh, this is like permanent until my HP goes to the endurance threshold. Right? Kind of a very interesting item, but I don't think my character have anything to do with it. Increase, wait, 8% increase HP and vitality norm? Maybe. You know what? 
I'm just gonna put it here. Like set items, I just figured out in a hard way that they are absolute shit. Or at least I didn't find a good one. Oh, maybe I can make upgrade right now. No, I can't. I mean, percentage mana and mana regeneration is so huge for this character. It's just, it's just crazy. Oh my god, this this guy, Ruby Captain uh, blah, 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 something. Fuck this guy. He killed me so many times, just one shot me from nowhere. He have so much speed. This shit. That's kind of a close. I mean, with those stack of poison that they include me. Directed. Yep, I'm always going for the XP Tom. And of course, the best maps with the rewards needs to be the most hardest monsters. Well, I just need to be patient. That's bad. Yeah, fuck it. I knew this is gonna happen. Like, if there's that stupid tigers, man. Fucking hell.
stand down or die. Oh. Good part is that I have 42 favor, so a 42k favor, which means that at some point I can start target farming Stand some down, some items. Hopefully it will work. At least to improve my helmet. Why am I lying, Jesus? Oh, I guess this map is gonna lag. Great. Get me out of here. Let me check my performance of the PC. Like, what the heck is this? Why am I lagging? I mean, it should be fine. So strange. Okay, all the metal resistances. I don't want to say never I'm going to use hammer um, shield, but I think I'm never going to use the shield. This base is disgusting, so I don't like it. Poison damage resistances, this is going bye bye. Alright, the most important event into this monolith. Come on. Let's not make it messed up. Oh, look at this! No user interface! Actually, it feels better to play without user interface and no map. And you can't even go out from this place as well. And it's gonna be on the XP. It's gonna bug out here, right? Well, that's nice. And I'm not gonna be able to go out from it. Well, that never happened to me before, so... Yeah, I cannot pick up nothing. At least I... <laughs> at least I finish it. Yep, everything is messed up, guys. Like, I'm clicking escape, but it's not working, so... I need to forcefully get it out. Even, even if I like to play without use interface, but... I need it.
Alright, but everything is basically back to normal. Okay. I hope I don't... Uh, um, how about your name? Drake Turtle. Drake Turtle, okay. Uh, delete is the default toggle for the UI. Out and Z. Um, that's not supposed to happen, right? Alt and Z. GeForce experience. Okay. <laughs> Is the toggle um, for the items on the ground. If you don't like those, I will, I will just unbind them. They can be annoying. The toggle is that these lights that's all on the ground like um when specific type of item drops or not for example if it's rare it's gonna be like yellow like light is that what it means Ooh, XP Tom, I'm gonna go this way. Majasa. Oh my god, some of the NPC words are so... So cringe. Down or die. Nice. Alt and Z. Uh, alt and, yeah, Alt and Z. It's also the key bind for GPU interface. <laughs> GeForce or IMBDS. I am no IMDS. Um, and in game it's basically hiding all items in call it toggle tool tips for items on ground yeah I probably I mean why do I need that anyways to hide in all items Let's see, huge Rahel Idol, block efficiency chance to divine bolt when you use a zero cost skill. Not interested.
I think after I gather the buff from the final boss on this uh, monolith, I'm gonna do some dungeons. I, I have so many keys. I think I have like 100 keys or something like that. Not even, not even exaggerating. I really don't know what to do with them. Where is the ring? Throwing attack speed damage over time and necrotic. If that was like exalted item, it was going to be very nice. But it's not. So it's just gonna be destroyed for crafting materials. So these three books should give me like one more bar. Whoop whoop. Yeah, almost. Here we have another book. Let's go for it.
Thanks God that I have rebuke because this one just saved me right now. Those guys was going to be one tap me if all of them attack me at once. Wow, more keys. Let me show what what I was talking about. Okay, maybe this is not 100 keys. Like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, 20, uh, 40, 60. Close to 100. <clears throat> yes. Take care. So, at the beginning of the stream I was explaining about um, shred resistances and uh, physical armor, uh, no, physical resistances. I think they boost my damage like 3 to 4 times. Uh, once I gather like good amount of stacks. Or well, maybe not 3 times, maybe like 2 times and a half. Okay, let's, let's be realistic. Two times, 2 times and a half. I was doing like 5 to, to 7k damage on... Um, with some bosses, now I do like sometimes 24 uh, K per tick. So, um, pretty important to shatter uh, resistances of the enemies. Leech rate movement speed throwing critical strike multiplier. Hm. I think that's crazy. Am I the only person who is like a little bit disappointed of the uh, set items? Like I really hope they, they upgrade them or make them harder to find but um, really good bonuses to provide. Because right now I, I, I didn't find a single set item that can do something about my character. And they should make them more, like, um, eight piece of particular set that uh, is going to give you a lot of stats and on top of it, uh, maybe you can modify or change some ability in a specific way. That's going to be super awesome. Or maybe 8 set item, it's uh, kind of a too much, I think. Maybe 6 or 5, that's gonna be kind of more balanced. Okay, let me read, let me read. Uh, I, think the, uh, I think there are two problems with set items. The bonuses they have tend to suck. And then the set bonuses aren't nearly as interesting as most uniques. Yep, uh, that's true. I think the, the way how they can fix it, it's uh, like I said before. Let's say that there is a specific 8 item set bonus for lunch, for example. And it's make lunch like a flicker strike in Path of Exile, for example. If some specific requirements are met and things like that. With, of course... When when you think about liquor strike build with launch, you think about it, the character needs to be tanky and survivable, so give him more resistances, more HP, maybe stuff like that. I think it's gonna be really awesome. Uh, 
then there is an issue with Unix begin able to be legendary. Not begin... Wait, uh, of Unix begin able to be legendary. What, what do you mean by that? If a set item is often worse than an exalted item, a unique can also have the exalted item stats. Yep, that's true. But what about if set items also can have legendary potential? Now that's that that's a good that's a good thing to kind of um get in thought, you know. What if the set items are more like more hard to find? makes specific ability super different powerful way right and then you can also have legendary potential and the only way that you might want to um you know try to gather those set items uh, set items is because you you like how this ability it's changed you know or because it's OP, I don't know. I think legendary set items would help and or just making set better overall. Yeah, I agree with you. I, I want I want set items to be... I, I, I want them to be better. I don't know if I have still more set items somewhere. I think I just delete them all. I mean, I sell them all because I was... I usually... I'm so like... Um, how to say it? Not possessed, but uh, addicted to set items in games that I decided to make own apps and put them together and they just started dropping the same one bullshit and I was like you know what fuck this <laughs> and I had to sell them all but yeah I was going to demonstrate some of them how just pointless they are but anyways like the moment that I figure out that set items are absolutely worthless it's um when I was trying to um uh, make prof uh, what was profe prophecies right and I and I sat it for exalted item uh, in order to uh, create this profit you need 2k favor and for the unique item you just need 320 and I was like wait uh, I'm sorry for the set item you just need 320 I was like why the exalted item it's more money than the set item uh, when I start playing the the game so yeah I was I was confused because I thought the set items are more powerful but anyways but now we know that they're pretty shitty <laughs> The thing that I like this build is that I need to click more buttons. It's not just like it's not brain dead. You don't get me wrong, guys. I love brain dead builds, but um, 
It's like every single button that I ha that I'm using have purpose. And I feel like skilled to use them whenever I need them. Right? So it's like more engaging. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I guess what I'm trying to say is that it feels good to think, I guess, in this game. It's like every single one of those spells on my bar just making something for the character. I don't know how much sense have what I said actually. <laughs> anyway. More keys, here we go. I think I pretty much leveled fast this one level. Uh I mean it's I could do it for, for an hour if I was having more luck with the drops of uh, experience dungeons. A tome of experience on the monoliths. Like I'm more than halfway. That feels pretty nice. Definitely better than grinding in Diablo 4, like, oof. My first level uh, 100 there was Barbarian and it... It took a long time. It took a really long time to level it up. Seems la last level it's totally the opposite and I like it. By the way, Drake, did you did you ever play Diablo 4? And if you did, how do you how do you rate those two games? Because I think this game it's like not just fun; it's it's just better. A tier 6 uh, artitude can give 10 to 20, the, uh, the last better set gives 30 strength plus 10 strength from the armor. A tier 6 attribute can give 10 to 12, the last better set gives 30. Oh yes, um, I know I know that item, it's have three, three, uh, 3 pieces, helmet, um, helmet gloves and chest piece I think. And yeah, 30 strength is kind of a not small amount, like increase armor by 4%, so 120% increase armor just from the set. But, you know, only that's the, the crazy thing about this set. The rest of it is just, it's just garbage, in my opinion. I mean, 30 strength is a lot, but that's the only thing that shines. Okay. 
Okay, two items that might be might be crafted. A tier seven can give thirteen to sixteen, so great some lucky exal uh, exalters and does not set a grimmick. Okay, yeah, I played Diablo four. <coughs> Mm. In Diablo 4, I only played like uh, like Barbarian not, not, uh, and, and Sorcerer, but till level 40. But Barbarian, I was... holy shit. It was cool until it was no longer interesting. But that's a percentage HP idol. I should keep those, I think. Alright, let's, let's try to craft this. Uh, what I can include as a suffix. HP. Void damage. Brick. I beat the campaign with the first uh, came out as a world wi world wind barbarian. I think I tried to play the necromancer and I just couldn't. It was uh, just boring. Yeah, it's it's the game is just it's just boring. Like I was having fun. Uh, I I did every single thing into the game. Uh, I didn't kill um, Lilith, of course, because <laughs> this this boss was just broken. Uh, you know, but. It, it was it was just broken to, to level up another character. I, I feel like I was burning my my sanity. It was going away. It was nothing engaging in, in this game. It was crazy. Physical damage fifty percent. Ah, that didn't go well. Maybe I can include HP Necro Block Void. Uh, not the worst, but it's pretty bad. Liv wasn't even rewarding to fight when I just uh uh, press the button to spin and uh, would win. I mean, I don't want to be disrespectful, but I literally spent around maybe 40 hours constantly dying on her stupid mechanics. I mean, it's, it's not just the world. We, it, you probably know the fight, but the stupid waves, sometimes they're just not coded correctly or they're coded the way that they just doesn't, doesn't do what they're supposed to and, and they just hit you and the the hitbox is so weird. Of course, I uh, I don't want to be the person who like you know I didn't make it and I want to talk shit, but it was just bullshit. <laughs> and like you said, it unrewarding. So yeah, fuck this game. Like, I even tried with Hoto build. I was doing, like, how much? 12, 12 million sometimes? 20 million? But it was... It was still just... 
It was it, it was difficult game, uh, difficult fight. By the way, recently, I, I think two days ago or one days ago, I figured out that... What was the name of this ability? A healing hand can be progged by physical attacks how many times you want. I didn't know that. That's just crazy mechanic. And then I, I, I saw one sentinel that was having like 40k ward just because he was spamming it with some boss and also something. I was like, wow. <laughs> Like, who to thought that this is possible? Huh. Wow, this experience storms that is giving us just so much experience. I love it. Uh, let's see. I have two more here and there. Let's go. At that particular moment, in last epoch, the crafting really feels like a breeze. I mean, it's of course not not the most easy thing in the world, but it's it's um it's hundred times better than Path of Exile right now. Like in Path of Exile, I don't craft anything because I just how I feel about it. I I like farm, let's say, a whole week to gather some good amount of divines. Let's say, okay, not the whole week, maybe three days to gather like, uh, I don't know, 15 or 16 or on the Affliction leak, uh, one of the, uh, not idols, um, one of the charms that I found that was like 45 divines. You know, it's different, different things you can farm. And then you just spend all of it for an item that you don't even know is going to work or not, you know. It's, it's kind of a, it's kind of a scary. And I still prefer to just buy items from people who have balls to craft them then craft them myself that doesn't mean that i don't craft nothing but you know most of the items is just not worth it in my opinion but in this game it's totally different i love to craft i love to have possibility of exalted item with good stuff and then you create something that better than your equipment is just feel good the heck is this damage? Get out of here.
Wait, what the heck was that? Oh, look at this. I'm just getting like 15, uh, not 50, but like more than 10% XP. There we go. One set item. Um, that CPU is just too much for me. I try to play a bleed and, and heal regeneration build without any guides. And I just got to the point that the campaign where, uh, where I just couldn't do any, uh, enough damage to survive uh, long enough. Um, I don't know if you know Atin, um, the best paladin in the world, he was calling himself. And back in the day, he was playing one character through the campaign, who was absolutely tank. Like, the only thing that he was uh, invested, to have capped resistances, uh, to have acceptable amount of armor, and everything else was going for HP and HP regeneration, and he was just be the campaign AFK. <laughs> um, yeah. For people, you need to have a lot of, a lot, a lot of knowledge. It's like a lot of it. And it's, it's just not working for the first time, the things that you might do. It's just a difficult game. But it can be very fun and re rewarding. That's, that's for sure. So talk about the set items. Look at this one. Absent chance um, to replenish one uh, po potion when bo bone golem hits an enemy. So bo um, the golem has 5% chance to, um, you know, gather you one potion. Which, um, wow. I mean, it's actually this is okay item for level 12. Right, if you find the set, the set, the whole set, let's say from the range 12, level 12 to 13, I guess it's going to be fine. And then you summon skeletons, special att attacks deal plus 42 far cold lighting damage. So this, this should be 100. And, so this item is super good for early level, I guess, if you find the set. But um, for now, it's just worthless piece of shit. You and your minions has increased movement speed. You and your minions have increased health eff effect effectiveness, increase. Uh, second, if you are moving, you have 22% 20, chance to cast Summon Vines. I don't like that. Pebbles uh, Sash isn't that bad. It's a good item for leveling the Necro. Isn't that bad. Yeah, I come to that conclusion as well. Um, for leveling item, it's pretty decent. Wait, second, this one giving 40 fire resistances. Bad that I don't want this. It's not bad resistances there. It then just also boosts the minion damage, so it gives a lot of uh, early damage. You can do more the uh, you can do most of the campaign with it and only minions. Well, I trust you, I was using like um um, like unique item level 4 till level 80 uh, 70 or something like that I don't know which which stream I <laughs> I decided that it's time to move on with this level 4 le um, unique item <laughs> so definitely you can keep on going with those with those items if they work of course I have a lot of items in mind, and if I put them together, one um, one sword I can show it um, after this the um, monolith. Combine them, it's gonna give me around 30 32 percent damage reduction, just less damage. 
And I and I want those items at like four legendary potential, but I don't know if I'm gonna ever find them. <laughs> I feel like I should go to the merchant guild and just buy those items from players and just be done with it. But of course I have to grind. And I already grind pretty far away. The circle of fortune, so. Uh, tier 7 affixes are twice as common. Oh wow, twice as common tier 7 affixes. This is exactly what I what I need. Nice. No, 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 no. I, I, I think I'm dead. Shit. Alright, brief. Concentrate. Get distance from this bastard. Yeah, you nothing. Get out of here. Ooh, bleeding damage and duration. And 17 vitality. Oh, well, like more something else than vitality, but. Wait, I have capped fire resistances. Wait a second, I can cut out points. So 7 points give me 21, so this one gives me 3, three, uh, three elemental resistances per point. So I need exactly... Is it 9? No. Is it more than 9? I think it's exactly 12, which is 4 points I can cut out. Let's make them three. I'm gonna cut out three points from the elemental resistances and I can upgrade, improve the character further. It has got the side. I mean, Holy Aura gives me resistances, but I don't have Holy Aura while, while in, I'm in, in the town and I thought that I don't have cap resistances, that's why I was keeping those points. Hmm. Good that I saw it. Hello, traveler. Hello, traveler. Not dwell on regret. I cannot do that. Alright, here we go. I think it was worth it. Oh wow, just one more leave and um, I'm gonna uh, kill the boss, I guess. Yeah, let's do the XP one. Let's see if I can level up from this. Wow, there is actually a chance that I can level up before the boss fight. Oh my god, elemental damage, increase fire damage, chance to ignite, chance for fire damage over time. This is not a bad ring.
Well, I do want to gather more experience. So I can level up. 95. Here we go, our of experience. Perfect. Yeah, whatever, it's not a lot of experience giving anyways. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do one more monoliths for this level and then the boss. I feel like my draw drawing build also can uh, have a... Like a staff, for example. I think it's considered staff as a two-handed weapon. And we got really good damage over time effects. That's gonna be cool. We need to make sure that it's considered as a two-handed weapon and works with uh, Like the only reason why I'm using right now two-handed weapon instead of shield and oh fuck, I'm gonna die like that. Uh, it's from this portion, uh, this, <laughs> this point over here that it's doubled whenever I have um, when I have a two-handed weapon equipped. So it's giving me double the bonuses for bleed and poison. And uh, bleed and ignite. Increase fire damage, increase fire aura area. I have no idea what is fire uh, fire aura. Here we go. Level 95. Let's go. And the final points of duality 
1.6k HP. <laughs> I hope this is kind of an okay amount. Let's do the frozen citadel boss fight. Oh, oh I remember this one was not fun. This is a mercy. Or isn't it? Shatter. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess this is gonna happen. A lot. So, yeah. I was about to tell which items I want to uh, have into the build. Uh, this chest piece with more HP and like less damage taken when wielding a two hand sword. And here, less le um, damage taken while leeching and a lot of increased damage. So, if, if I can craft those with four potential, it's gonna be amazing. Amazing. And of course, this is just also super super cool. 2% of physical damage over time leeches uh, HP. That's kind of pretty nice with this amulet over here. Okay, anyhow. Uh, I guess I'm going to struggle on this guy a little bit. I just need to time it somehow to figure out when he's going to use this ridiculous ability. Or maybe because he cast it in front of my face. That's why it was so powerful. This is a mercy. Shatter. Do not stand in my way. This is a mercy. Behold the rage of winter. Are you okay, bro? Are you okay? Do not stand in my way. This is a mercy. Rise, my fallen champions. Aid me. Shatter. Do not stand in my way. This is a mercy. Yes, 500, 600. 600, almost 700 stacks. Too late. Ah, they're going out because... Obviously, he doesn't take damage, damn it. I need to gather more mana, come on. Stand down or die. Okay, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600 this stacks. Dead. Get out of here. My people. What we got are... Cold resistances, chance to apply frostbite on hit. I guess frostbite is uh, decreasing the... What is this? Frostbite deals cold damage over time and last 3 seconds. The first 30 stacks each increase the chance to be frozen by 20 seconds. Uh, by 20%. Is it frostbite good? Isn't it? I mean, it's a cold damage over time. I don't know if this can froze stuff. Kind of funny. Chance to shred physical resistances on hit. This is the thing that I was looking for. But the amount, it's not great. It could be up to 50%. I'd rather have this talent from... Uh, from the Forge Guard. Even if it's cost me more mana than just having 50%. I want my damage to be up and running all the time. Freeze red per stack of chill chance to apply frostbite i mean we are already applying chill which what does it uh, reduce movement action speed i like to reduce the movement and action speed another thing is to gather some resistances tough choice I think I want to try the frostbite. I don't know. But then I'm losing chill though. Chance to chill. Frostbite damage is 256 per stack. Um, the chill chance, yeah, only 
I mean, it's super powerful to be able to chill bosses, for example, and, you know. Each stack of chill reduces attack, cast speed, and movement speed by 12%, and can stack three times. I think I'm gonna stick with a uh, Heart of Ice, even if I really want to try uh, Frostbite on hit. So yeah, I'm gonna keep the current one. I think chilling it's pretty pretty good mechanic to have. Okay, so um, this one is done. Increase suffix shard drop rate. Yep. The next one will be the last ruin. Which is providing me with um, Id uh, idols. Alright, let's go experience. Experience book. I didn't even check what items dropped and I think this is from the bosses some kind of a special uniques or something like that, maybe. Cause I never saw them before then anywhere else dropping. Less cold damage taken on block. This one does I don't like this one. I mean freeze rate multiplier it's cool, but the rest of it I don't know. Doesn't looks that great. War War Cry it's converted to cold. Warcry no longer knocks uh, enemies back. Alright, HP, health regeneration. This this is, I guess, Druid Helmet. What is Warcry? Do I have Warcry? I don't think so. Stand down or die. Down or die. Okay, XP, let's go. So, War Cry it's for Druid, I guess. I, I, I never play, I mean, uh, Primalist, right? It It's not Druid, it's Primalist. Okay, so I never play uh, Primalist. Uh, the only thing that I tried was Necromancer till level 5, I think. I have one or something like that. It, it, it's all level. I tried hardcore character while the servers were, was down. Um, I wanted to play something. And I decided to do a minion hardcore character who died in a first zone. <laughs> Bro, if you if you like the most the most dangerous playthrough in any hardcore character, feel like it's gonna be the act number like the first zone of leveling, level one zone. Stand down or die. Uh, but yeah, like next season, I think, uh, I think I want to try po uh, I'm between poison build or full skeleton mode. Like I want to do as much as possible skeleton army, um, archers maybe, or maybe, I don't know, I just want to make super huge amount of army, just marching and attacking everything. It's kind of, it's kind of super cool. Or some kind of a rogue between hunter and... Yeah, I mean, the, what else? You can be assassin or hunter, so one of the two. With a lot of poison stacks and stuff like that. Just poison. Maybe poison and bleed combination, I don't know. 
Uh, but first I'm gonna finish the Sentinel. I wanna make sure this character works. Okay, tier 7 armor. And we have elemental damage over time by 191%. Tier 7. The problem is that is um this is the, the problem of this item is that it's not it's not damage over time. And it's just because this is gonna increase only my ignite damage and not bleed, so it's I need to fix my filter though. 31 uh, affixes. That needs to be uh, needs to be fixed. Or damage, physical damage, elemental damage over time. I don't know. I don't know if I want elemental damage over time. Or maybe I'll keep it. I don't know. But I'm just gonna put those stuff into the stash and when the time comes, I guess. Create an HP. I can reload, re-row re on this item and maybe I can hit some uh, increased damage over time or or, atta or attack speed, probably attack speed. And craft all resistances and I guess I might have a new ring. Yeah, I want to try this one right now. Two legendary potential. Now this puts another crazy. Alright, let's pray that I'm gonna gather uh, attack speed on throwing lightning damage, increase HP, throwing attack speed. Oh wow, I called it. Alright, and now I just need all resistances. Elemental resistances, here we go. Oh, I don't have any more potential. Oh, come on. That's sad. It was going to be a cool one. I mean, for including it in some unique items, still still counts. Less, less mana cost and attack speed and HP. It's not bad to be included somewhere on a unique item with potential. So it didn't go that bad, I guess. Yeah, this item is a little bit fucked because I want the two prefixes to be physical damage and bleed duration, fire damage and ignite duration. This I, I want this to be done on the armor and then HP and some resistance. So this one is kind of a brick from now. So I think I'm just gonna shatter it. This have a good amount of armor but... Oh wait, two open prefixes. If this one hits like HP and then I'm gonna be able to... What, what do we have? Come on Glyph, get out, get out of the way. Necro. Physical. Health. Oh my god, it's working. Maybe I can... Make my new armor. If I'm lucky enough. Increase physical damage and bleed. And then we need... Our ignite. Okay. Okay. Nice. No way, it's working. <laughs> no way, it worked. I need to figure out how to uh, increase my necrotic resistances and this is basically the new armor.
And on top of it, if I decided to um, include those modifiers on a unique item, it's still fine. It's still exactly what I wanted to do. Wow, okay, so necrotic... Where I can gather necrotic resistances. Necrotic is from that one. I think I'm gonna do it right now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out some point points from uh, increased armor, I guess. I'm not a big fan of it anyways. Holy shit, that's a good upgrade. Congrats, that's that's a lucky item. I'm telling you right now, this is actually a lucky item because it didn't broke the potential at all, and this is like a 10 clicks. The the potential just, just dropped with 20. That was goddamn luck. <laughs> oh wow. That was a good feeling. One, two, three, four, five. Hello, traveler. Alright, that looks better. That looks pretty much better than before. The necrotic is now at least 72%. So, technically speaking, I balance it in a way. And the armor didn't drop actually with a lot. It seems it drops just with 1% from all of these points that I've been spending here, which was kind of a weird. Or I'm just tripping something. Anyway, let's uh, keep on rolling. I mean, Circle of Fortune was the next one. Items that will drop as a rare have 25% chance to become exalted. Oh yeah, just a little bit more. And then <laughs> tier 9 is gonna be uh, completely worthless. Here we have one tom and here we have another one. I'm gonna go down over here. Now with this more increased duration on those elements, I can make way more stacks. Which is gonna increase the damage overall.
I, to be completely honest, I didn't even know that this character can go as far as uh, as far as he is right now. Like uh, leveling process from 83 to till 90 was really painful. Okay, let's see how much XP is gonna give me this one. What? Eight percent, twelve percent. So on level ninety-five, those providing around four percent instead of instead of um almost ten before. It's still pretty acceptable. I imagine on level 99 it's gonna give me 1% so I need to make 100 of those monoliths together at level 100 I guess. I mean technically speaking. No, I don't like this map, it's just slowing me down everything. Two-handed sword with one legendary potential. Mm, no. Increase for damage and ignite. Alright, team. I have some other items that. Uh, let me see if I can craft anything. So we have this ring, which is not even exalted, so those ones have no chance to be crafted. Uh, this one already crafted. This one with increased elemental damage over time.
I don't think so, I'm just gonna keep it. And this is the one that uh, I'm also gonna keep if I found another item too. Um, to, um, in what was fused into. So that was my first chess piece that I was uh, excited about. And then we upgraded this one. And now we have this exalted. This was like my first uh, weapon that I was excited. Then it was that one. And now I have the, the X. I don't know why I'm uh, keeping them, but... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I think I'm gonna give, I'm gonna keep them more. So this is the, <laughs> the previous helmet. I think I got some a little bit of upgrade. I don't know. I can just upgrade my helmet. I don't know what's going on. It's just not working. Did I say that I'm gonna do some keys? Yes, I think I did. I did that. I, I, I think I said that. Uh, I think I'm, I want to go to the lightless arbor, or maybe the keys that I have the most. Let's see which one are they. Templar Sanctum. Sure. Let's let's do some of those. I guess. Now, if, if I end up to be in a dungeon that was providing me to... Uh, what was the name of it? Uh, to fuse uh, unique items with potential, I'm going to skip that dungeon because nothing to do there yet. Rune cast can be reached through the time rift. Behind. Actually, I think this is the most worth it to do right now because I can... Uh, I think this one was with the... With the chests at the end. I need to investigate it. I'm gonna investigate. Oopsie. Yep, yep, the lightless key, it's with the devolute at the end. So this is exactly what I'm going to go. A lightless arbor is the one where you use your gold to get rewards in the devolute. Yep, yep, this is exactly what I was uh, looking for. Uh, I think, I think we should, I think I should go there right now. I mean, we should go right now. Um, and spend, because look, I, I have 1.6 million gold uh, to do nothing with, so. And I think I'm capable of doing it, so. Let's see what will happen. So far is the gambling, but with souls you can uh, you can get from killing the uh, in the dungeon. I tried out, but um, the last boss killed me. Oh, I'm sorry. It was not the last boss. It was um, it was it was on the stream. Something just randomly one shot at me. I, I believe it was it was mobs. I think two mobs hit me at the same time uh, with the resistances that I, I was I didn't have. So I usually go with uh, fire resistances. I guess um, something hit me with necrotic and two times and I was just dead. Kinda sucked.
Stand down or die. The third dungeon is the smashing items for legendary. Uh, which should be the sanctum, right? Yeah. So I guess uh, I have nothing to do with the sanctum yet. Enemy drop more exalted helms. Let's go. Hey, maybe in this dungeon I can find my new replacement of helmet. Maybe it's gonna finally happen. Yeah! yeah. And the character says, yeah! Stand down or die. Ha! I guess with increased difficulty then it should be more chests at the end, right? The dungeon boss drops many idols, uh, more HP and damage, let's go. Human, we are nearly there. Here we go. I was wondering why he's not dying. Alright, so the last time uh, the thingy there one shot me with the beams. I don't know how to predict it. I don't know how to predict the beams. Okay, this is how to predict the beams. I got it. I should be fine here. Get out of here. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. Uh, what is this helmet? You can strike strike chance. You cannot leech health from critical strikes. Uh, I don't like this helmet. Some necro stuff. Increase damage over time and chance to shred armor and hit. Well, if, if that was something else, 
the 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 second second up the second uh how they call it the second motive something else than shred armor i was going to think about it but nope it's pretty bad okay as a chest that drops several exalted helms accept adds many runes to a random chest we don't care about that adds additional exalted relics to our chests sure as additional glyphs to chaos to all chests no <laughs> set items fuck you all items from every chest have 20 percent chance to be duplicated okay Arches that drop many runes and glyphs. Arches that drop several idols. I'm fine with idols, I guess. Duplicate all items from the random chest. This is... I mean, I don't know. Is it that worth it to be duplicated? Like, what? what what's gonna happen? They're gonna give me some five shitty helmets or something? Let's just enter the vault. I have a couple of keys. Let's see what 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 we gather here. Two chests. Okay. Dodge rating. Damn it. Endurance maximum mana. Physical damage over time. <sighs> Actually, this one is not not bad. If I was using uh, Sigils of Hope, though. No, I don't see myself using Sigils. No way. I mean, disability is a uh, slight of sigils or whatever. <sighs> well, as long as I want to say that one of them have potential, I'm going to lose a lot of fire damage and endure a threshold with, with armor. Maybe I can craft one. Let's see. Let's see how far it's gonna go. So the mana needs to be replaced by increase um, fire damage over time. What happened? Oh no. Magnificent armor increase minion damage. So what's the reason that I'm not able to to move it to next year. Well, that sucks. Well, then we're gonna remove something, I guess. And we're gonna remove the most important mod. Fuck off. Get out of here.
I mean, it's kind of fun, this dungeon, so I'm gonna make another one. Ooh, level 100, though. Can I make level 100? You didn't have the affix shard for it to use. You didn't have the affix shard... Um... Wait, what? I was having shards for... Uh... Increase uh, like far damage and ignite duration. I'm 100% that I have those shards. Uh, ignite. There we go. Increase far damage and ignite duration. I have two of them. And the prefixes are on the right side, so they. they I was having a chance to, to hit it, but instead I hit something that cannot be rolled for some reason. Alright, let's 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 check tier four level hundred dungeon. I'm probably gonna die here. Uh, the level of manifest armor shard. So you mean because I didn't have the level of manifested armor shard, I was not able to reroll, right? Is that what you mean? Because if that's if that's what you're saying, that makes sense actually. I don't. Yeah, because I don't think I have this. Let's see. Wait a second. I have them actually. Level of manifest armor. I have three shards of those. I don't know, it was it was kind of a weird. I mean you saw it, I couldn't reroll it. I still don't understand why not. Anyway. Well, the mobs at least are not one-shotting me yet. So I believe that the boss also will not be able to one-shot me with the small attacks. Now, the big slam will be a problem. And if I don't use re re reboot to K, uh, rebuke, um, it's going to one-shot me 100%. So yeah, I should be careful. Increase 60% damage. Ugh. Come on. Okay, that was expected. I don't know if I'm the only one, but when I die in dungeon, uh, they're always like disconnecting me from the game. 
I mean from the server. I think I'm gonna pause the dungeons for now. Somebody says about something about Diablo 3. The game is so easy. I'm going back to Diablo 3. What? No way. This game is too easy. I'm going back to Diablo 3. <laughs> Oh, that was... That was funny. Is he click, clickbaiting or something? Like, Jesus. Anyways. Let's get some more XP. I'm not sure why it, uh, it wouldn't work. To be honest, that... Uh, I thought you could try a Glyph of Despair to seal the affix. Instead of removing it. Uh, thought that can... Uh, or steal one uh, one you want to upgrade. I actually never used before uh, Glyph of Despair. The next the next time that I have chance to do it, I will I will try. So what what is this? Has a chance to seal affix instead of upgrading it. The scenic affix is moved to his own slot, leaving this old slot open for you to add a new affix. That sounds powerful. So what's gonna happen is that one of these four affixes is just gonna be permanently on the armor is that is that what it says because for that shitty helmet there uh, that i tried to farm uh, to to craft i mean i don't know if it was shitty but you know maybe i mean i'll try it i'll try next time with cliff of despair if that happens so it's like five affixes. That's that's crazy. Is it hundred percent chance? Because if it's hundred percent chance, I can, I could literally upgrade some of my equipment. For example, this particular item, item I can, I can make him uh, with one more mod, right? If that's the case. So after this dungeon, I'm gonna f um, seal some of the of, of those. Um, how they call it affixes and then i'm gonna include another one and try to forge it let's see maybe i can i can gather even more uh, luckiest armor than this like i can make it even more crazier i hope there is no downside from uh, about this it sounds too good to be true though uh, but probably it's true <laughs> What? Okay. <laughs> it's time to... Uh, wow. Okay. Great. So let's make, make sure to not destroy the item. Uh, and try to seal an affix. Um, how does it work though? I just plug it in here and... Uh, the harder the affix tier, the more unlikely it is. The seal affix cannot be modified further, and an item cannot. Uh, it can have maximum of one sealed affix. Uh, chance to seal it, it's harder when the crafting of affix is lower tier, and it's also higher for more exalted items and in items with more affixes uh, you need to upgrade the affix but instead of getting the upgrade it's sealed so if they're all tier 5 it can be done makes sense okay I can't wear this well I guess the next item 
Is this all of them tier 5? Yeah, I cannot even see on the on the axe something. Hmm. Oh, I'll try it uh, once I once I have the opportunity for it. <clears throat> That sounds actually very very cool, like they have a, a sealed affix. That's cool. I should spend my favor to uh, for prophecies. This way, I'm gonna increase uh, the bar. I think that's not gonna be a bad idea to do after this dungeon. I mean, what am I waiting for? It's like 66k of a favor. That's a lot of prophecies. Something that might be crafted, dropped. Oh my godness. 100... Wait, I might die. 111% um, damage over time. Okay, I'm gonna check this one once I um, get out of danger. Alright, so 1% chance to block and block efficiency plus HP, cooldown recovery speed, I don't know about that one actually, I, I love to have mana and mana generation because hammer throw just literally exhausting my mana. I would like to seal the HP though on this item, but then am I going to craft it really? Uh, so if you had a tier 1 or 2, you kind of won uh, one, but don't mind uh, being at low tier. You could still that get something you want more uh, to a higher tier. So, so technically speaking, if I use this scroll for stuff that are above tier 1 and 2, it's more riskier to fail, which means that I'm exhausting the forge potential and losing... I, I have less chance to craft something more decent, I guess. Uh, s that's why, I guess, other people seal uh, affixes tier 1 and 2, so they have more chance uh, to craft the item after that. So they have, like, this fifth affix, and then... So if, if you want to make better item, you can, you can always seal tier 4 affixes but then it's gonna be less chance um this to be to seal it, i guess <coughs> so it's like risk risking a lot for um for a gathering perfect item kind of a deal interesting but at the very very beginning at my stage right now i think it's more logical to seal tier one and two items uh tier one and uh two affixes so you know I got some some progress, I guess. 
but end game and and end game i guess um everybody will want to make the perfect item so hmm <coughs> Let's go to the observatory and spend some favor. I'm not sure what other people do, but from what I understand, and yeah, this is a lot more risky to try and seal tier 4, but could pay off better getting 5 high tier affixes. Makes sense. I knew you had something to ask. It would be my pleasure to satisfy your curiosity. Wait, wait, wait let's calculate it. If, uh... I mean, it, it doesn't say how much chance it's to fail, right? It's nowhere it says that. Well, that sucks. What what about this fifth glyph? I never actually figure out what, what this glyph is all about. This never dropped to me, ever. What about gl glyph of order? Modify the uh, outcome of a craft when upgrading an affix. Prevent the row of an affix within the range. Okay, so... Okay, I got this one. So what's happening here is that... Um, it's rolling the affix within the bracket range of the, the affix itself. So for example, damage over time is from 307% through... Uh, 384 so this will reroll the the numbers i guess interesting so i do want to see only for monoliths or maybe arena, arena or mon monolith. So I think my pleasure to satisfy your curiosity. I think I have to block them somehow. Reduce chance for profits to be to have a um, campaign event. Oh, this is even worse. Then going dungeons. Reduce chance to profits to be in a dungeons event. Yeah, I'll take that. And reduce chance for profits to have what else? Higher her corruption I mean dungeons and arenas I guess this is the two I would like to find weapons and armor with higher potential especially the ones that I already um, planning to have also, relic is gonna be nice. For gloves and boots, I didn't figure out which one is be uh, which which legendary item can work. Also, bleeding heart I really want. So, I think I'm gonna try amulets on hundred percent. Okay, exalted amulets. <sighs> Defeat the boss and gather six unique relics. I'm looking also for relics, so this can work. Blood frost and death timeline. Death of a frost leech. Okay, I remember that was a boss. Um. I don't like any one of those. Another relic, Death of Exalted Mage. 
Let's go. Death of the Husk of Elder Gasper. For two unique amulets. With the corruption 310. Wow. Uh, not ideal. I still not able to do those. Monolith defeat a rare enemy. Or 300 corruption. <laughs> 300 corruption not, not, not even close. Yet, What does it mean the last rain timeline? Let me check this. Actually, it's kind of confusing me a little bit. The last rain timeline. <laughs> Look what I got here. The last rain timeline boost for four euro in stock. Oh, what the f? What the f? I hate those sites, bro. Destroying the games like that. Um, but at least <laughs> last time we have a lot of like less things that can be do wrong. Like people do shit like bank real money for services, which. I don't know, I don't agree on a lot. But I don't care. I don't I don't do that. Anyways, I'm not gonna blame anybody, everybody can do whatever they want to, but those usually services I feel like they're destroying the game. Cause um everybody feels like they need to spend money to uh, go somewhere into the game uh, instead of just having fun time and enjoying the game. I don't know. Anyways, let me see what is this <clears throat> what is this uh thing that I'm looking for? The last ring. Oh, wait a second. The last ring should be... I'm boosted. Yeah, there we go. This is the last ring. Here is... Uh, this is the place that I'm farming the... Um, what was the call it? The stability. So yeah, probably I'm gonna go today on this boss, so there is no reason why not grabbing that real quick. Tunic amulets from Death of the Ma uh, Diamond Matron something. Yeah, let's do this. Death of a Siege Golem for 7 Exalted Amulets. Count me in. Death of a Boss for 3 Unique Amulets. Sounds nice. One only for 50 Corruption. 
Oh, I'm boosted. I'm already on 100 corruption. Why are I thinking that I'm on zero corruption? <laughs> oh, I was I was skipping so many good ones. Damn it. Anyways. Death of, of giant scorpion, seven unique rings. Maybe I'm can, I can find something that it's cool. Or keep it simple and concentrate on what I try to target farm. Hundred and sixty corruption. Sure. All of the uh, uh, outcast timeline for three exalted amulets. Sure. The last ruin timeline, which is the thingy that I'm gonna do today, I guess. Oh, there's gonna be so many items dropped, it's gonna be crazy there. Uh, Monolith. Yeah, this one works. Let's go. Age of Winter timeline for three exalted amulets. Yeah, sure. Oh my god, more of those. Yeah, give me those. I'm gonna get so many items dropped from this, this boss. Okay, and the last one should be this. <clears throat> yep, worth it, spend it 66k. <clears throat> Now let's do some monoliths. Look at so many prophecies. Oh, I love it. Items will drop. Hopefully I'm gonna find my amulet with at least two potentials so I can uh, craft something interesting on it. So from this is exalted exalted mage or whatever is uh, the name of him, um, it's gonna drop a lot of blood right now. I'm excited. Oh, <laughs> oh, that was good. I'm gonna check the loot later. Wait. Increase fire damage. Physical and bleed duration. I think this this is definitely craftable. 
This is, I mean, it doesn't have a lot of forge potential, only 34. Right, but this is definitely something that I'm gonna try to craft right now. And I'm gonna try also to craft implicits to be power more powerful. Like I want more power damage. Hey, new helmet. I feel like this is gonna be the new helmet. Finally it happened. Finally it happened. Okay, more relics. Nice. I mean, this is it. Wow, this one is not that bad with the damage over time, but then no resistances. So, it actually, it's not that good. Alright, let's see what we got. <clears throat> a helmet with a lot of necronic resistances. This is not gonna not gonna be crafted. You're going bye bye. Three legendary potential. This is the biggest potential that I've been gathering so far, any item. Um and it's for the warpath. Great. Cold line resistances, water orb, no. Well, unlucky. Those have nothing to do with my character. The same story for the the necklaces. HP, melee physical damage for minions. You minions cannot be stunned. <laughs> Get out of here. Look at this one. Chance to poison on minion hit. And then minions deals 9% less poison damage. Why? Why? Why is done that way? I don't get it. That's so stupid. Well, instead of me throwing them like that, I can sell them, right? 500 gold, it's uh, 500 gold. Yes. But this one, I'm, I'm just gonna keep it for memory. Here we go. Take care. Now, the most important item. Tier 4 item with mana. If I try to remove it, there is a big chance that uh, increased physical damage and, and bleeding duration will be will be will be removed. So that's risky. And I also want to have open prefix for increase uh, fire damage and ignite duration. So I think it's time to try to seal it. Just got rune of ascendance. Uh, what rune of do I have such thing? What is that? I mean... That's nice. I have 14 of them. And I use 13 of them. I don't know if they're worth it though. I mean... I know, I know, but uh, you know, you did a lot of things right now. Do you know why? Because I forgot about them. And now because I'm target farming the Bleeding Heart, I think now every single amulet that I'm gonna find, I'm gonna craft it here, trying to gather another one. But, okay, question. If I, for example, use Rune of As uh, Ascendance, is there a chance the unique item that's gonna be uh, created also gonna have like legendary potential is, is that possible or it's just making it unique uh can be boss drop but 
can have uh, LP. Just got two LP item. Which one? Which one do you got? I'll Google it to check it out. Man, why YouTube doesn't allow people to screenshot stuff? Like it was going to be so much more easier sometimes. <laughs> For example, uh, mortality's grasp. Let me check this one. Last epoch. Mortality's grasp. Sounds familiar. Oh, uh, that's a gloves, right? Increase mana regeneration, chance to mark um, mark for death on hit. So mark of death, it curse that last 8 seconds and reduce our resistances by 25%. Uh, and then ward gunner when the damage leaves you uh, at low HP. I, I don't know. For my character, this have nothing to do with. Some some kind of a ward character but not not exactly something that does damage um reduce all resistances by 25 i mean re reduce all resistances doesn't says elemental like do you know what's the problem if you're a veteran of path of exile when you read something like reduce all resistances you only think about a fire lightning and and cold but in last epoch, it's basically everything that says resistance is on. So, yeah, this literally reduces all the resistances of a target by 25%. I think this is, like, it's extra 25% penetration or damage, let's call it that way. I guess, I guess not bad. I don't know. For my character, it's kind of a useless. Uh, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to seal this mana. I'm going to try, of course. And I just failed. And the mana become tier 5. Consequences. <laughs> Damn it. This helmet was possessing a, a chance before I ruined it. Well, fourth potential just dropped. I don't think I, I can do anything here. I'm just gonna put something that I I'm okay with to to be on the on a helmet, which is elemental resistances, and be done with it. I guess. Yeah. Well, that sucks. But yeah, those runes can be good for target farming, a specific type of unique. Well, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try my best now. I will grab some uh, amulets. I'm gonna try to grab 13 amulets and... I will uh, try to make them uniques. And, and hopefully uh, this, this heart thing is gonna drop. Oh my god, damn it. Remember, it can be a boss drop, though. Um, I mean, this is not a boss drop, right? Bleeding heart, it's, it's just not. This is like level 4 item. I don't... It, it, I think it's gonna be fine. Uh, boss drops... I don't think the uniques that I'm looking for could be, could be boss drops. At least not 100% though. Oh my god, look at that one, okay. I mean, the base is bad, but I still have some chance to um, 
got a new helmet. I'm still like not. I'm 50/50 if I should craft this helmet because it doesn't doesn't have the the base that I that I want. But maybe I can try it just just for the experience. Your bleeding heart is fine. It's a regular drop. Well, I really. I mean, even if I, it's like. I just want <laughs> to drop with two legendary potential. Even if it's a level four item, it's it feels like it just never dropped. Like so many more shitty uniques dropped amulets for that I have nothing to do with the character, and the one that actually is low level, it just just doesn't dropping. <laughs> Crazy. Anyways, uh, let's get more XP. One of twelve chance. Wait, there is a twelve unique items, isn't it? I gotta check that. Uh. So if we go on amulets and then uniques. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 10. So I guess one in twelve chance if we don't consider the boss drops, right? Because um, the guy that makes you increase the corruption, right? He have a um, boss drop, the the ring with the resistances. I'm sorry, not the ring, the, the amulet with the resistances. So. Yeah, two are quest items, and there is a six boss drops. Yep, makes sense. Okay, here we go, one amulet. Okay, one amulet here. One in 13, it uh, counted it wrong. So, one in 13. I have 13 runes, I mean, at least one time needs to happen, and hopefully that one time is gonna give me some legendary potential, and uh, we, I'm gonna go in this dungeon when, you know, you're sacrificing some uh, amulet. Well, that's, that's my, that, that really feels exciting. Alright, let's grab this. So, how to do it? I have four chances. I mean, one vitality, it's... I don't like vitality. So, I'm gonna do this. Strength, strength is even worse. Okay, let's seal it. Which uh, didn't happen. Let's try it again. Alright, and then I'm gonna include chance to bleed oh that's the incorrect one um, oh 
Ok. Now endurance could be something else, maybe HP. And I also would like to have more elemental resistances. So we go on suffixes, elemental resistances. TR2. Uh, what I'm gonna do with the endurance? Maybe for now just increase the physical, right? I mean, I, I'm lucky enough that I have some positive amount of uh, 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 attributes here, so let's just... Uh, tier 2, tier 3, tier 4, tier 5. Alright, so this one is tier 5. And then I think I'm gonna increase the resistances. Okay, here we go. This is it. I think it's better than my helmet. Uh, how much endurance do you have? Endurance. Where, where I can check that though? Uh, probably in defense. Endurance, it's uh, 26%. So what the endurance does? Endurance reduces the damage dealt to your health below your endurance threshold. For example, if you have 50% endurance at end at endurance threshold of 100 all damage dealt to you oh shit that's good that's actually pretty decent okay so now i have 35 percent the less damage just because no when then when my um hp it's uh, around 347 i guess so technically speaking i need to increase my endurance threshold if i want to have more damage uh, I mean, more um, defenses at low HP. Anyway, I think this is a upgrade. We increase the bleed and also more duration for bleed and ignite. Yeah, I think this is worth it. This is the new helmet. Oh man, I'm so heavy. Finally, it's upgrade. <laughs> nice. Any, uh, anything tier 7 the gloves this is tier 6 I'd rather have more HP but the extra endurance will help stop you getting one shot uh, at early uh, um, as easily uh well i mean logically it's it's just good to have both of them for a melee character but even if i'm hammer throw i'm still in melee range so i i, I think i should focus on hp endurance somehow with the resistances so i i believe that all of those idols should providing me resistances Right, instead of uh, searching for more damage on idols. And then, with the Holy Aura, I can gather more resistances and endurance actually. 3% endurance over here. I can sacrifice global fire damage. Like, at the end, I feel like I need to um, choose between ignite or... Ignite or bleed, I feel like. And I don't like that. I want both. And I'm 100% sure that this game, it's it's capable of, um, you know, min-maxing both of them. Uh, 
at the same time. Uh, okay. Well, I can sacrifice throwing attack speed and chance for haste. And then I can cut out two more points from over here to gather a little bit more resistances, I guess. That's the only thing that comes to my mind, if, if it comes to it. Now with a new helmet and uh, 70 more ele elemental resistances, there is no reason for me to have uh, defiance anymore. Uh, this is pretty much useless. So let's respect that real quick. He looks cool. Look at him. I like I like how the character looks like. Nice. Hello, traveler. This helmet gives him some charm. So points. Where shall we take out and where shall we include? Uh now first. Okay. I think I'm going to cut out those two points. I guess getting mana, I don't think it's that crazy. Because if, if I cut those two points, I can include two points over here. And literally increase my mana regeneration rate by 12%. Which is more worth it than hitting one time for two or four mana. I already think that. So um, yeah, this is better. HP void resistances and physical resistances. Oh wow, I didn't didn't think about that one. Anyway, uh, four points needs to be spent somewhere. More mana regeneration. I don't think so. I guess more ne necrotic resistances and HP. Hello, traveler. Oh, okay, let's calculate the threshold. So, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, ten, I guess, fifteen, twenty-five. So, here it's fifteen. 
18, 20, 28. So this should be all the way over here. I don't get it. Well, we were talking about how important is endurance. I guess I'm gonna include one to point in endurance, I guess. Hello, traveler. One more. And more chance to blind, I guess. And the rest of the points are going, of course, into... Uh, duality. Yeah, let's do this. About... Prayer uh, Aegis, a Aegis, Aegis, Prayer Aegis, whatever this is. I'm not sure if I like that one. Well, I'm gonna fi figure it out um, off screen, I guess. Uh, this is something that I really want because it's like 30% more attack speed if I holding an X or Sword. Um, but this is also like 10 points and I don't have 10 levels. I have only 5 level do levels that I can um, do something with. Anyways. Let's keep on farm. Stand down or die. Okay, yeah, my mana regeneration is great. Look at this. I can cast like forever. And then I can just go back. And my mana still is gonna go fast up. I like that. I guess I need to spend more points into what was the name of it, um, crushing blows. I really need crushing bl blows more points into it. The next two points that I'm gonna, the next two levels I'm gonna uh, spend there. That's for sure. Pretty nice. Okay, alright, everybody relax, I wanna get my items. And some set item belt, get out of here. Okay, another amulet, good. Oh, what do we have here? Increase damage while transformed, get out of here. 
this was the shitty one as well minions critical strike multiplier your minions take in, uh, your minions take 20 21% increased damage get out of here bullet number 4 and that's about it Alright, another amulet. Actually, two amulets, I believe. Here we go, another amulet. Um, let's count them though. Why this amulet doesn't show on my filter? Increased damage over time. I actually looking for increased damage over time. On amulets. Oh, because it's... Wait. Because it's tier 5, I'm looking for tier 6 and above, I guess. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 6. And I have... 14 runes, so yes. 8 more to go. 6 more to go. Take care. something useful maybe glyphs yeah let's go for glyphs
Die haben wir jetzt. Ja. Is there anywhere on the map? Uh, amulets, but rare. No. Alright, how many they become? 13. Yes. Please tell me you have more of those. This is amulet, right? Here we go. Alright, I think it's time. I think I think it's time for Fourteen Runes of Ascension. Let's go. Aurora's time class. Endurance, increased attack, speed, ward penetration. If damage leaves you below if damage leaves you below 30% HP and doesn't kill you, you're restored to full HP. You gain ward equal to the health restored. All nearby enemies are slowed and you gain haste for four seconds. What? What the actual F is this? Lol. Bullshit. 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 Wow, another bullshit. Three in a row. <laughs> Four in a row. <laughs> Maybe this one have a little bit different color than the other one. Yeah. Because those are level 4, this is 58. Oh my god, come on. Come on, game. <laughs> Look at this, another one of those. What's the chance? Aurora's Time Glass, there we go. T 
Tears of the Forest. No idea what is this. Yes! But the damage leeches HP, it's not that great. And it has two potential. Here we go, the club once again, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, locked of the forgotten knight. Oh, fuck this. Uh, that's very rare. Death uh, rattle is the least a very good necro item. Death rattle. Minion critic strength, multi intelligence, your minion stake, increased damage. I don't know. I don't. I don't like any of those. So you want to say that um, Aurora's time uh, class glass. It's uh, very rare, huh? Well, I got that one with kind of okay affixes. And I got also the, the Bleeding Heart. But I wish it was more more damage leeches than uh, as HP though. Could be worse, of course. Alright, I'm gonna keep those two for memory, I guess. Uh, the rest of them, yes. I'm just gonna sell them. Alright, do I have any exalted uh, amulet that I want to... That I want to do something with? those two and on tier six i have another two of them so increase physical damage and increase damage over time with hp and this still have a forge potential so i can increase or change things with this one the only the only thing here it's uh I guess chance to ignite which is low tier tier 2 and damage over time I mean if damage over time hits it's gonna be a huge upgrade lots of HP and lots of crafting potential increase elemental damage over time by 218% But it's not damage over time, it's just for the ignite, so I don't like that. I'd rather go with uh, with this amulet over here. Okay. So this one have three modifiers that are absolutely beast for the for the amulet. And then we have this beauty as well. Damage over time. The freeze multiplier, this is a complete shit. HP and stun avoidance, it's kind of okay. Uh, but it's more risky. This one is more risky than this one. I think I'm going to go with bone amulet. Bone amulet combining bleeding heart. And uh, let's see what will happen. This is now the... Um, the goal, I guess.
you you st you told me before about the the sanctums and dungeons. Um, let me read it once again, just to make sure. I'm gonna scroll it up. So the the arbor is the one where you use gold for rewards. So far, it's gamble. And the third dungeon it's uh, smashing items for uh, for legendary. Okay, so I guess we're gonna smash items with the sanctum. Templar sanctum. All right, let's go. I'm still in tier 2, wow. Sanctum is a hard dungeon. Uh, far I haven't tried that one, but the final boss is rough uh, from what I heard about. I, I remember the last boss, uh, some of the mechanic. I think he was making some kind of a lightning. Or it's kind of a void lasers that I need to stand a little bit at the side from the middle. So, when they're rotating, it's not hitting me. But then, the rest of it, I'm not exactly sure what, what, what's happening there. I know that something more shot me before I completed. I was like level 89 or something like that. I don't know when I tried it, but... I, I don't think I'm gonna have problem with that level, hopefully. Come on, pick them up. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, the sandwich is a little bit making me confused from time to time. But I guess I'm just not get used to the used to the dungeon. and we drop slightly more exalted weapons finally something good Oh. 
Yuck. The epoch. Finally, I will have the tower. All right, this is it. Oh, let's go more serious position on this chair. Let's stretch myself. Crack my fingers. Stretch them. There we go. Okay. I'm not exactly sure what to do here, but let us do it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't know how I did that, but uh, hey, uh, I managed to survive. That should be a rip, but anyways, uh, I'm glad that I didn't need to do this again. Meteor is converted to lightning damage. Woohoo! Alrighty, it's time for Crafty Crafty. It is time. Okay, two legendary potential. It needs to hit damage over time and physical damage. Come on, or HP. Increase damage over time and HP. What a goddamn win. This increased my HP with uh, 100. And my damage, let me check. Now the bleeding is 900 and the ignite is almost 400. I consider this is a win. Of course, the leech could be better, but I, uh, I gather more uh, throwing attack speed, so... I think it's fine. Well, that was cool. Alright, let's continue with the timeline. Yeah, this is basically my first time crafting such item, uh, like ever. This is my first item. I noticed there is a few unique gloves that boost a sk skill, but require having no weapon. Mm. 
But then, who who will be the melee character that might be using them? Got one called Hand of Judgment. Um, is this the one that was increasing um, the war cry? Something like that. It's coming to my mind. It was something with really long text. And there is another one uh, for the falconer, call it falcon fists. Actually, I want to check those two. I know I'm 100% sure that I, I I met those in in game. Uh, Actually, I never saw hand, uh, hands of judgment. Armor void, melee damage as automenment for judgment while unarmed. Cooldown recovery of judgment and fire penetration. I don't consider this one as that crazy though. At least somebody else proved me wrong. Uh, what about the falconer? Fists, Falcon's Fist. Falcon Fists, Armor. Actually, why I don't put this one over here on the screen? So, Armor Endurance, Cinder Strike, Melee Damage per. What is Cinder Strike? This is. This probably comes from the Rock. Increase melee attack speed by 27%, melee fire damage. For you and your minions, on armament you fa uh, falcon hits gain uh, this particular thing melee damage increase. I don't know. I I still don't. I, I never saw um built into the game that uh, it's unarmed. This is I, I can't even think about builds that I might might be able to. Construct in my mind that it needs to be an arm. I don't have so much knowledge. I will try it, but I got a really low roll for the amendment and uh, call down. Where did you see this? You mean for the hands of judgment? Ugh. Wait. Okay, yeah, you are talking about the first item. Increase the rev. And what build you you gonna you gonna make like an armored build that's like maybe even if you tell I mean if you play rogue I don't like primalist rogue mage. I have nothing. I, I mean, I have no knowledge of those classes. Like, literally, don't even know a single spell of them. Crit plus out shows the range in value of the affix, and I got six out of sixteen. Oh, you're talking about uh, this thingy? Oh my god, I'm so boosted. The atom. I, I can't pronounce this word for some reason, but this is the one that gives you mana. Oh, okay, gotcha. So you technically you got a low roll. Okay, now 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 I understand. <laughs> Took me some time.
I, I feel like this dungeon, I mean, this monolith, it's like gold mine for items right now. There is so many of those enemies that are dropping good items. Oh, I'm gonna complete this dungeon 100%. Uh, monolith. What? How can you cast one after another? Usually they, this thing takes some little bit of cooldown and now it is one after another. What was that? What the heck? <laughs> what the? Increase elemental damage over time on amulet 238%. Jesus. Hmm. Uh, Cinder Strike, I think it's pretty bad, but uh, I don't know what is Cinder Strike. Uh, but the item could uh, make it better. The issue is the Falconer already has a really OP build, so really bad. So it will be really bad in co uh, com comparison. I have no idea what is Falconer and also Cinder Strike. Probably this is something from The Rock, I think. <laughs> Sounds that, that way. Increase melee attack speed, dodge rating, chance to gain haste for one second hit. Wow, those gloves are perfect. Perfect for a rogue poison build or something like that. That you need to be in close range and... I mean, I'm assuming that the rogue have something to do strike frequently on close range and you cannot do critical strike who cares about that give me the 40 percent attack speed which could be 40 i mean um, give me the 39 attacks uh, attacks melee attack speed that could be 40 that's cool Stand down or die. Ha! Yeah, the Falcon is a rogue uh, subclass. It's one of the best in the current and very strong. After this, uh, after this monolith, I will I will check it into the builder. What this ability does? Just because I got curious about it. What is going on? I'm getting one shot like that. Okay, let's go. Uh, where was it? Build planner. Uh, where was it? Where was it? Rogue. We have Falconer. This is this should be right. Summon a Falcon that fights with you. Falcon strike the Falcon 
r um, rapidly hits uh, many enemies in the target area. So it's a Falcon Strike, it's Minion Companion Dexterity Physical Melee ability. When you consume a Falcon Mark, your Falcon gets additional melee a damage equal to your a portion weight portion of your added melee damage drawing damage so pretty much scales a lot i gotta play this uh, uh ability to understand what's going on but for what i understand you just uh sent in some kind of area some uh bird that deals damage i guess and if the if it's a meta build so probably does <laughs> absolutely incredible amount of damage i guess uh okay that's kind of interesting but i still don't understand that i i gotta play the 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 character with this yeah yeah <laughs> Talking about the uh, the last bears sc scoring, uh, here we go. This is the the armor piece. Jesus. Stand down or die.
Oh, here I was. Uh, I was going to die here so easily. Oh, thanks God that I didn't. Wow, I never saw this unique item ever. Uh, Transcriber's gra Graver. Spell damage modifiers of Volcanic Orb. Okay, I just read Volcanic Orb and uh, this is for Mage, I guess. Here's Fire Aura. Fire Aura. <laughs> mage. Uh, and this particular one, which have nothing to do with me, so... Not interested. Wow, another waiver, Jesus. I think those would be for a spell blade mage. Uh well I, I like to watch in um, what was I I Imperian, right? And I think he's playing a spell mage. So if he plays a spell mage and this is for spell mage, so I have more idea what exactly. I mean, right now one of the biggest matter, right, is this uh, a frozen uh, build that you're just uh, making everything, um, everything frozen, and you're getting a lot of wart. I think this is the meta. I think the best build. If I'm not mistaken, of course. I'm not sure about the mage subclasses uh, meets uh, either. Well, what I saw so far, they can have so much ward that it's just just crazy. Uh, some people pushing like 600 corruption and stuff. Um, I don't know. The only way that I think I can ever reach 600 corruption it's if i have like endurance 1k endurance and damage reduction of 90 percent <laughs> because i don't know uh, maybe i can get 2.5k hp maybe 3k with perfect items but one is 3k hp one is like 40k ward i don't know if they go up to 40k but the numbers was crazy, I don't remember them, but they really go with crazy numbers of of wards, which technically speaking HP, but yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this guy. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna try Mig Max him as much as I can, and uh, that's it. This is what I'm gonna do. Alright, so uh, 200 more stability, and I'm gonna fight the boss. A lot of drops will uh, things will drop and uh sounds fun stand down or die
Yo, this guy explodes. With the same relics. Soul Fire, some percent more spell damage to ignited enemies. There's a four percent chance to ignite on hit with fire skill and necrotic, necrotic skill as well. Interesting. Increase fire damage if you have killed an enemy recently. Uh, increase armor while ignited. Hundred percent of hungering soul base damage convert to fire. So I'm 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 guessing that this is um. Necromancer, some kind of a thing with Hundering Soul spell. So that's uh, basically ignites now. Yeah, Hungering Soul ignites on hit instead. Yeah, nothing to do with me. So, um, bye bye. This is a Warlock item. Uh, they like to do fire and necrotic damage. Sounds fun. Necrotic damage should be, if it's damage over time, it's the Void, I guess. So it's like... Dot build, fire and Void damage. And then Dooms as well. Sounds interesting. Here we go, more XP.
Alrighty, gloves. Ravens rise. Interesting. I was thinking about something. About the rings. We see how we have like minus four minus four uh, throwing mana cost for throwing abilities. If I can seal that in a ring, then then I'll have chance to include throwing attack speed and increase damage over time. Which is massive. That's gonna be a perfect ring. If I think about it, if if, if I don't have, uh, if I don't find any uh, rare rare um, rare items to to be better. Okay, this is annoying. Those guys are really annoying. This guy was sounding like Drax from World of Warcraft. <laughs> How many relics? One, two, three, and amulets too. Lol. Not even a single amulet. I think it's uh, the thing that I'm looking for. Same as the relics, I guess. Unlucky. Apostate. I can't pronounce this. Man, I feel like everything is for freaking mages, man. <laughs> I don't know. Everything that I read is for minions or mages. Like, it... fucking hell. Stand down or die.
This shoot I never saw before. The slap. <laughs> the slap. 100% <laughs> less damage taken on block, so which means that whatever damage you block, no damage taken, I guess. And why? <laughs> With block efficiency, effectiveness. What does it mean, 507 block effectiveness? Wait a second, reduce block chance by 57% and gives us some HP. Well, let's have some kind of a... I guess downsides into it, I guess. But it's kind of an interesting item. Taking no damage from block. And I think I'm... Oh, wait a second, this is 900 stability needed. Okay, so I guess I'm uh, two dungeons away. I mean, two monoliths away from the boss. Mm, let's find some XP. XP monolith. Is that anywhere? Fortunately, no. Stand down or die. <laughs> Stand down or die. Okay. Six more stability and I am out of this monolith section.
down or die. Dude, this guy move, I already have like 700 stacks on this. He shit. Get erected. Soul of the Bastion. I think I saw this one before. At 5 soul charges, cast soul eruption. So I guess this is some kind of a damage ability AoE or something. Whatever. Right, it's time for the champion of the ring or whatever. Uh, yeah, let's go for it. Just got shard of the shattered lance at 100 sword uh, sword set item. Shard of the shattered lance. What does that mean? Wait, shard of the shattered lance. Fifty-percent increase melee cold damage per temp. What? Oh, okay. So the shatter la fifty percent increase melee cold damage per ten HP regeneration. I mean, this can <laughs> this can go madlands, right? Hundred percent HP regeneration. It's. 150% increase in melee cold damage. No idea which which ability it's, it might be good with this. No idea. Oh no, this guy was annoying. Oh yeah, this this guy. I hate this guy. Oh no, I'm gonna die here. Oh, this is not gonna be pretty. <laughs> what? What? Oh, okay. So it's extending. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. For what I'm understanding, this is actually 1.5 more per 1 HP regeneration. 1.5 increased damage per 1 HP regeneration. I guess. I mean. I mean, yeah. If you divide them 50% by 10 HP, it's 1.5, yeah. But how HP regenerate? Is it like in Path of Exile, the HP regeneration, it's, it happens real time or you need to be out of combat? I never think about that though. Oh, health regeneration portion of it. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, um, how they call it? 
it, it, it doesn't matter if you're in or out of combat, it's always gonna have a, a HP regeneration, so it's it's fine. <clears throat> Round number three. Lost refuge is gone and I am all that is left. Die with my travel. My magic has no equal. Parry. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I made a mistake. Oh, maybe not. Oh, same way. Fuck. Ah, damn it. Let's go again. I got this guy. I'm just messing up. I just don't have this uh, <laughs> the rebuke when I need it. Damn it. My magic has no equal. Perish. Why do you run? It is hopeless. What killed me now? Oh, well, it was lightning by Astarts. Let's do it again. Lost refuge is gone and I am all that is left. Die with me, travel. Come on. My magic has no equal. Perish. Why you run? It is hopeless. I don't see my uh, projectiles game. Ah, another one, god damn it. <laughs> fine game, fine. I'm gonna take a break. Okay, break enough, let's go.
Oh, what the fuck? I can do that? Oh, this guy, bro. Get out of my screen. Get out of my screen. That's how I do it. <clears throat> Anyways. Just got the exalted with 333% damage over time on minions. Holy macaroni. You know, there is a one game. I, I forgot he, the name of it. Let me just check it real quick. I 100% was playing it. Let me see for my hidden games. Uh, Soulstone Survivors. So the Necromancer on this game it's absolutely bugged out. Like this is the most powerful class in the game. Because all of the minions when they're hitting stuff. Because there are many. They're applying like debuffs. Damage over times. Because they hit a lot and there are many. They stack, they, they're able to create many stacks and the damage it's pretty incredible so if i make a minion build this is item that i'm gonna look for and of course chance to poison and stuff like that all right so what we got here increase gloves shards drop rate increase skill shard <gasps> drop rate and increase belt shard drop rate Increase suffix short. Yeah, I'm gonna go with suffix. Yeah, let's see what we got. Um, Gaspa Gaspar's acuity. Is that good even? Void recent lightning chance to shock on void spell hit. Increase lightning spell cast speed. 100% chance to cast them something when you use a lightning spell. So demise is a damage. Is it damage over time? I don't think so. Added spell damage. It's a pure as 800% effectiveness. What the heck? Eight hundred percent effectiveness of other damage, spell damage. That's crazy, but I don't care about this item. I got another heart with the lowest percentage of. <laughs> oh look at this! Both affixes of it are the worst. Well, I'm gonna get this one for a uh, memory. Yeah, I'm gonna get this one for a memory. Alright, this side of the monolith, uh, it's completed. Let's go to the Spirits of Fire. Chance to shred fire resistances on kit. Yep, I think I'm gonna change this one. We can also go to uh, Reg Regin of Dragons once again. 
or spirits of fire let's go spirits of fire I like how this monument is just accepting me with three monuments with XP. Almost one after another. Lol, so much experience. Oh, look at this, another Aurora's Time Glass.
Oh, I hate those minions. I hate everything about them. Okay, more experience over here. I think I should be able to level up next level with two more monoliths uh, with experience. Should be. Stand down or die. Stand down or die. Stand down or die. What? Okay, that was disappointing.
increase throwing damage HP, no chance throwing cold damage, chance to throw an axe at the nearby enemy on hit. Okay. Stand down or die. Stand down or die. Stand down or die. Wait, did I just got two point two of descendants? Wow, I just got two runes of descendants. Small life, Jesus.
hopefully after this one it's uh to level up down or die yeah. Hey, level 96. So, for 4 hours and 40 minutes, 2 levels while crafting, checking stuff, dying, failing, doing this and that, testing. I think it's pretty decent. I like it. It go pretty well. Here we go, another point into mana regeneration rate. <sighs> Alright, I think this is gonna be for today. Drake, well, if you're watching, mate, uh, I'm gonna go sleep because I'm pretty tired. Right now, here in Bulgaria, it's like 11.30 at the, at the night. So, I gotta go sleep. Tomorrow, probably, I'm gonna stream again. Hopefully, I can hit another two more levels. Hey, till the next week, I should be level 100. Alright. Thank you for everybody who's going to watch and uh, see you next time.